Hello dear engineers you are welcome in session 28 of ANSYS basic 2 professional course in this session i am going to teach you transient structural analysis problem statement 1 using full method so let's start the session in session 28 we are going to learn how to apply time dependent force how to perform transient structural analysis what are the different analysis parameters in transient structural analysis here is the problem statement 1 transient structural analysis on ladder when a person is climbing on a ladder using the full method material applied in all cases are aluminum alloy element size should be 20 mm force applied by the person on each step is 800 newton in minus z axis the person applies force on a step 1 at 1 and 2 seconds the person applies force on a step 2 at 3 and 4 seconds the person applies force on a step 3 at 5 and 6 second fix support on the base of the ladder so the output we obtain from the solution is uh, equivalent stresses and total deformation so let's see how to solve this problem statement in ansys workbench so first of all you have to go to analysis systems in analysis systems you will find an option of transient structural analysis so you have to double click on that now i will go to engineering data and i will change the material so to change the material you have to go to engineering data sources general materials and in general materials you will find an option of aluminum alloy so you have to click on plus symbol so here a book symbol is appeared here it means it is added in our library so you can check by clicking here aluminum alloy is added in our library so i will click on back now i will go to geometry right click import geometry and you can click on browse and uh, select this ladder.igs which you can download from the link given in the description below so you can download from here and click on browse and select your geometry now my geometry is defined so i will go to model double click on model to open ansys mechanical window so now you can see here my ansys mechanical window is open so i will go to geometry and i will select both of these geometries and i will change the material assignment from a static uh, structural steel to aluminum alloy so you can see my material is changed now i will go to mesh right click and generate mesh i will use the default mesh you can change that mesh by using other options which i have already taught you in previous lectures so now i will go to transient right click insert and i will go to fix support and i will select all of the four bottom faces as given in the problem statement you have to select all of these four click on apply now you have to again go to transient right click insert go to force you have to select the this face click on apply change the defined by from vector to component in z direction you have to rather than uh, inserting the force here you have to go to arrow symbol tabular time dependent and now you you will be able to define the load here first of all you have to change the time from analysis system step time will be 7 second 1 second 1 second and 7 second now again go to force and here at 1 second i will not define anything i will define the force at minus 800 newton it at 2 second and again minus 800 at third second and here i will zero and it will consider the zero zero load at till 7 second now i will again go to transient insert go to force select the second phase that is second step and i will 
चेंज दिस टू कॉम्पोनेंट जेड एक्सिस इन जेड एक्सिस आई विल गो थ्रू टेबुलर इन टेबुलर I will define the force of minus eight hundred at third second and fourth second. And I will give the load of zero at fifth second. Now I will again go to transient insert force. Again select next step. apply define y component you have to follow the same process for all of these three so i have done with all of these three forces now i will go to solution right click insert deformation total and again stresses one versus stresses and click on solve so now you can see my model is solved so you can analyze the deformation pattern first you have to change the result and go to scaling you have to set to true scale and click on simulate animate so this would be the deformation pattern and in stresses you can see so first of all i will change this to 1000 scale so that you can visualize clearly so you can see the stress pattern here also you can see the deformation pattern like this it will deform go to analysis setting and you can set the minimum time step as 0.1 and maximum as 0.2 and here also initial time step 0.1 and you can solve in this case you will find the more a smoother results so now you can see my model is solved now so i will go to total deformation and you can see the little bit a smoother transition of deformation you can see the graph here and in stresses you can also with this thank you for attending session 28 we will see you in the next session that is session 29 till then you can like this video subscribe our channel and stay connected with us